Cindered Shadows, Betrayal. So that is what transpired. This is indeed the Chalice of Beginnings. It matches the descriptions and the few records of it that remain. Don't beat around the bush. What's our punishment? You removed a most sacred treasure. Truly, it is my obligation to mete out punishment for that transgression. However, you also helped the Church locate a valuable artifact. In light of this good deed, I shall forgive the bad one. I do wonder... I am wondering whether your presence had anything to do with the artifact's unbinding, Professor. As per the Church Chronicles, the Four Apostles secured the Chalice with powerful magic. The only way to release the Chalice is by using the Four Crests passed down through their bloodlines. However, given the special power you possess, perhaps you were able to unlock it yourself. There is no knowing at present. For the time being, I will keep the Chalice somewhere safe. As for Elfric, I assure you that the Knights will find and return him in due time. I consider him to be one of my many children, after all. I will not allow harm to befall him. Lady Rhea, might I ask a moment of your time? We cannot be expected to give up our endeavor! The enemy stated most clearly that if the Knights are involved, our dear Elfric is finished! We owe him so much. If there is any possibility that his life is in danger, the risk is too great to chance. True. The knights are strong and all, but they're liable to get him killed. We can take care of it, with Chatterbox's help. Our professor has the strength of a hundred knights. Or about one and a half of me. We've got this. How about it, Rhea? We've been through too damned much to get here. Leave the Chalice and Elfric to us. You won't regret it. Lady Rhea, please. Hmm. If you consent to join your power with theirs, yes, perhaps there is hope. As you wish, I shall entrust you with the Chalice. Your Grace, the Chalice is a legendary treasure. You can't just hand it over to those underground... That is quite enough. There is no cause to worry, I assure you. There will be no further discussion on the matter. Even if we lost hold of the Chalice, it would be impossible for the thieves to make use of it. Though it was created to return a life that was lost, I doubt that anyone alive knows how to accomplish that feat. If someone were to successfully replicate the ritual, it would perhaps be the work of fate. Hey boss, been meaning to ask. How'd you end up down here in Abyss? What is this? Some sort of interrogation? Yeah, you've never been big on sharing. I mean, you know all about me, and there's still so much I don't know about you. Look, I get it. Talking about the past isn't easy. But I'm curious, yeah? So get to it. I've got all day. Do you now? <laughs> well, I guess now's as good a time as any to tell you. I'm here because I killed some people from the church. That cannot be! Of course I don't. What kind of person do you think I am? Someone who'd willingly kill others? Originally, I attended the academy as Count Rose adopted kid. There came a point when the church ordered me to wipe out some members from my old gang. Told me it was part of some important mission. Who is this old gang you speak of? They were nothing more than common thieves to someone like you, Constance. Anyway, they're like family to me. So naturally, I protested my orders. Things got pretty heated and, well, the rest is history. That's some story, pal. You're damn lucky they didn't execute you. <laughs> You're telling me. Alfred stepped in and implored them to spare my life. Told them to consider the circumstances. 
It's not so different for the rest of you. I'm sure he helped all of us out in different ways. He did. I was about to be thrown in the monastery's underground jail. People thought I was dangerous, what with my gift and all. It's dark and dingy here, but it sure beats a prison cell. Elfie really saved my neck. Back to the point. Balthus, what was it you were so curious about? You had ideas regarding why our enemies may be clawing after the chalice, perhaps? No, nothing like that. But I am hung up on something Rhea said. That binding on the chalice was linked to the Four Apostles, yeah? Well, no, I've got Chevalier's... Sorry, but mind if I cut in? What is it? Can't you see we're busy? I can, but I just remembered something. Something important. Specifically, the names of the Apostles. Oban, Chevalier, Noah, and Timotheus. The four Apostles whose bloodlines were lost to time. I figured the Ashen Wolves might have thoughts about all that. Uh, uh... No use hiding it now, Constance. Let's lay all of our cards on the table. As for me, I've got the Major Crest of Chevalier. When I enrolled at the Academy, the Church ordered me to keep that tidbit to myself. So I did. Mm-hmm. And I've got the Major Crest of Oban. Never did sort out how it is I have this thing. As for me, the blood of Saint Noah courses through my veins. This is kept hidden, even from the Empire. Which probably means mines from Timotheus. I do have a vague recollection of being told my crest is rare. So the four crests which were presumed lost have all been gathered into the same house. All thanks to our buddy Elfric, it would seem. And now Elfric has been abducted. Why could that be? If it was the chalice they were after, they could have stolen it from us without the need for anything sly. Maybe someone had it out for him. Or maybe he messed around with the wrong people. Or it could just be unrelated entirely. We're trying to untangle this mess by tying more knots into it. I mean, Balthus, you landed here on accident, didn't you? It's not like that's linked to the rest of us. And I could just as easily have never ended up down here, you know? You're jumping at shadows. Anyway, we don't have time for this. Let's get our act together and head to the chapel ruins. Four apostles. Finally, it makes sense. You don't even know what I was going to say. Nobody likes a baker. Four apostles. To go to all that trouble bringing Lady Rhea a priceless artifact and not so much as a thank you? We had to release the binding and everything! Well, I mean, it kind of released on its own, but still! Let's wrap this up and head home, so I can get some quality sauna time. Hilda needs a steaming. Ah, my head's gonna explode if I keep thinking about all this complicated junk. For now, we just need to focus on rescuing Elfric and sniffing out some answers. I know it's been one crisis after another, but you're still game to help us, yeah? We need you, pal. I suppose it's all out in the open. Now you know just what I'm capable of. The church would have destroyed me ages ago if it wasn't for a certain someone having my back. My life was spared. It's a debt I intend to pay, no matter the cost. Is Elfric an enemy or an ally? He's worked tirelessly to protect Abyss for years and years. Yet, had House Nouvelle not met such a terrible fate, I would never have come to Garrick Mach. And Noah's bloodline would never... Can his kidnapping really be a simple coincidence? Or... Professor? Huh! I can't believe my wild hypothesis was correct! I may not look it, but I'm shocked. It's like casting a line and thinking you've landed the big one, but then you reel it in and it's setteth. Okay, that was a weird analogy. The point is, I'm very, very shocked. To be honest, I'm surprised Lady Rhea was so willing to just hand over the chalice like that. Doesn't the church consider it important? I know she said they wouldn't be able to use it, but something doesn't feel right.
What do you require? Farewell. Please. Maybe you think this is a bad time to talk about what we drink down here. But I'm gonna anyway. See, the problem isn't in the local ingredients. It's what's getting shipped in that's the issue. With the right equipment, we could probably make our own. Cut out the need to import anything. Hell, maybe we could even export some of it. As soon as Elfric's back, I'm gonna see what he thinks of the idea. So, uh, make sure Elfric comes back safe, alright? If the Church knows that Elfric's been abducted, why haven't the Knights of Saros done anything? I know you're all doing your best. I just hope it'll be enough. We can't afford to lose him. Oh my, Elfric dies? This'll go right back to being the garbage dump it was before. Won't matter too much for an old codger like myself, but with the kids. It'd be hard to see their hopes for the future crushed. Hey! Hey you, listen up. I've got something to report. Guess that's pretty usual here. Maybe it's not worth reporting. Perhaps I should say, nothing to report? Nah, tried it on, doesn't feel right. In any case, about Master Elfric. Bring him back to us, okay? For my part, I'll look after things down here. If our enemy shows up, I'll stay by my post. I mean, I have to eat and stuff, but I'll come right back. Count on it. The descendants of the Four Apostles. Fascinating. To think that their bloodlines carried on in secret, right under our noses. One was even disguised as Imperial nobility. House Nouvelle was thought to be descended from St. Macuel, but that was a fabrication. How did they manage to avoid detection for so many generations? <sighs> there is danger here, because we could be attacked. But the same danger is there for me on the surface. The only way to leave the danger is to disappear. Lost crests? Elfric's objective? Since our journey's outset, the mystery has only deepened. Ah, please, forgive me. Musing aloud isn't going to get us anywhere. For now, let's finish our preparations. I fear a battle is imminent. Huh? Those lost crests. They must all have their own relics, don't you think? Uh, but before we dig into a new mystery, we better figure out the ones we're already working on. I have a theory, but actually scratch that. No use guessing when our answers await at the chapel ruins. Hey there. Yuri somehow always keeps his cool. He's closer with Elfric than anyone. So he's got the most reason to be upset. I'm sure he's just really good at hiding the same feelings we're all having. Hey! It was surface people who took Elfric away. But... You're from the surface too. Maybe only some surface people are the worst. Anyway, good luck! and wolves can take on anything. They'll make sure it all turns out okay, won't they? Hey, friend. Let's not deny that there's a connection between us. How about you and me have ourselves a little date, huh? It only happens when I'm being a little greedy. 
When the bell strikes midnight, meet me out front of the Holy Mausoleum. My only condition is that you arrive promptly after midnight, and not a moment before. What say you? All will be revealed when you arrive. Nobles have nearly killed one another fighting for my affections, you know. Perhaps you won't get all you want out of me. <laughs> but I'll promise you a fun time regardless. It's settled. I'll see you tomorrow night, friend. Don't stand me up. Your Grace, please reconsider. The chalice is among the Church's greatest treasures akin to even the hero's relics. I am well aware, which is why I have already dealt with the matter. Consider this. The hero's relics are fearsome weapons imbued with great power. On the contrary, the chalice has long lost the power it once possessed. It is little more than a token of history. If that is so, then why is it still considered such an important artifact? It was created for a sacred purpose. To use the blood of the Four Apostles to... return the Goddess to our world. Their blood. Your Grace, is something the matter? I have an urgent mission for you. Investigate the origins of the Ashen Wolves. Start with their enrollment forms for the Academy. Keep an eye out for falsified documents. Yes, of course. Understood. Before you begin, summon Alaris at once. I have new orders for the knights as well. As you wish, Your Grace. If I am correct, we haven't a moment to lose. Another tragedy is soon to transpire. That crumbly old chapel somewhere nearby or what? I can play a little part here. Save perhaps as a bargaining chip for our dear Elfric. Getting yourself captured instead? That wouldn't be good at all, Constance. I think we should be more worried about B's appearance. I mean, he's got way, way more, uh, life experience than the rest of us. And all that life experience makes you look more like a knight than a student, B. You saying I'm old, pal? Don't forget, you're speaking to the ageless king of grappling. She's not wrong, Balti. There's a pretty big age gap between you two. You're friends with Helda's older brother, right? That explains your maturity. You make Hubert look like a spring chicken. Can it, will ya? Anyway, I'm wearing a school uniform. No way in hell they'll think I'm a knight. Yeah, and anyone wearing a school uniform is without a doubt a student. To be honest, for a good while, I actually did think you might be a knight. Who made your uniforms and set up the Ashen Wolf House, anyhow? If I might so humbly interject, that would be Elfric. He pulled everything together for us, sometime after he was appointed as the Guardian of the Abyss. Said he wanted to give former students who were expelled from the Academy somewhere to live. Somewhere to belong. Of course, all of this was established long before any of us were in the picture. Perhaps. After hearing all of that, it's not as unbelievable as I'd thought. All I know is that he helped me, so I'll help him. I strongly doubt that I shall factor into Elfric's retrieval, but I shall follow your lead. There it is. We owe Elfric. Maybe your goddess doesn't care about debts, but my fists and I sure do. Sorry to have roped you into all of this, friend. We owe you. Just stick with us a bit longer, won't you? This is great! Has me ready to get to it and start hitting things! Ever since I was a kid, I've lived my life by one rule. That I'd only play my hand if I was guaranteed victory. I've gotten this far by using my cunning in any way necessary. Lying, cheating, even killing when there was no other way. But this next play? Well, the odds don't exactly seem to be in my favor. 
Not unless you trust me enough to provide me with an ace. <laughs> Never you mind, friend. Let's just go. <laughs> At last you've arrived! You certainly took your sweet time. But Flock, why have you come? To save you, of course. You didn't really think we'd just up and abandon you, did you? If I may be so bold, we have the chalice you seek. Might I humbly request that you return, Alfred? You found the chalice? When I told you of it, I never imagined you'd... Let's make sure it's not some cheap imitation. Hand it over. Not until you hand over the hostage. There needs to be some degree of a trusting exchange here. I can see you don't understand your own predicament. We've no issue killing the lot of you and taking it either way. I can't tell if this guy's ears are stuffed with wool or if he's just this stupid. Can't say I'm surprised. Thugs like this aren't about to show us any gesture of sincerity. Yuri, stand down. Leave me. Take the chalice and flee. You must. It is irreplaceable. You must not hand it to these brigands. <laughs> you know us better than that. We didn't come here without a plan. Do your thing, Happy. Wait, do what thing? Seriously? Right now? Uh... Now, Happy! Fine, fine, fine! <sighs> Her sigh! She... <laughs> I've gotta say, that sigh of hers never gets old. Yeah, yeah, glad you like the show. It's not like it's a gift I asked for. Uh, where did that thing come from? Absolute cowards. How entertaining! Balthus, will you do the honors? Leave it to me, boss. I got damn! Hey, Balthus, quit screwing around. Oh. Wow. It flew off of him. I'll sort it out. At least we got Alfred back in one piece. Now to handle these fools. Cheap party tricks! Let's make these children scream!
your reckless actions could have been the death of you. Still, I thank you for saving me. Don't go thanking me yet. We've still got to get out of here. <laughs> There's no time for foolish blunders when our future is at stake. We must complete the mission the noble gave us. We shall vanquish these infidels post-haste. Didn't mind brawling a giant bird, but now I'm stuck here. Oh well, time to show what happens when the awe-inspiring king of grappling goes all out. will prevail. I'll cut through. Thing. I'll give it my all. Stay focused. I am deeply sorry that you got involved in this mess too. Please, 
just for now. Lend me your aid. Let us all return home alive and well. Better? Could have been worse. always depend on you. Ready and willing. This 
sorry, but victory is mine. next. Golden Deer for you. I'm not done. I didn't expect that. Those cat. Stay focused. Sure thing. We can handle 
back. I've got an ace up my sleeve. <laughs> All change truly an improvement? and willing. Give it my all. That is that. We must all do our part. Yep. Nighty night. Could have been better, could have been worse.
no hesitation. It's over. Should I have held back? are calling for backup. <sighs> when will this end? How it goes.
You never had a chance. I'm getting stronger. I can feel it. Ugh. There's still so many of them. Happy? You know what to do. Again? What do you take me for, a Psy servant? Why are monsters like that in Garrick Mach? Ah, oh, well, perhaps I can take the treasure they found as a parting gift. Can't be right.
that a weakling to their demise. Stay focused. That all? I must keep aiming higher.
try and stop me. I will prevail. Too shabby. I'll never be satisfied. Easy. me well. Get who you're dealing with.
cannot set it. Must stay focused. Oh! 
Unite. Good enough for me. Step at a time. next. Just a few more moves, then all will know that I am the Empire's... <laughs> Forget I said anything. Then again, if you die, it won't matter either way. 
a weakling to their demise. thing. Ready and willing. I will prevail. Yep. I'll cut through. aiming higher. I don't mind pain, but it's time to make my exit. My employer pays me more than this treasure is worth. Thank you. 
one? That can't be right. You're too kind. You okay, Elfric? I am. All thanks to you. The chalice. Is it unharmed? Yes, it's safe. Chatterbox is... What? Nighty night! Yuri! You damn scoundrel! What are you doing? <laughs> I think you can see what I'm doing, Balthus. Beautifully executed, Yuri. The chalice is finally mine now. Along with the blood of the Four Apostles. It seems I was correct. That there was an enemy in our midst. To think our bird was instead a rat. You've always had a wild imagination, Constance. <laughs> I've gotta say. Turning your attention elsewhere was a challenge, even for me. That is enough of the banter, Yuri. I informed you not to divulge too much. They'll all be under the dirt soon enough. It's not like they'll be able to talk at that point. After all I've gone and done for you, Elfric, I would think you'd have just a bit more faith in me. Your silence speaks volumes. Yes, this is the end of the niceties. It's all on you now, friend. I'm sure you and the others will figure it out. Professor! Are you injured? I see you're well enough to make light of a serious situation. But surely you suffered a wound. Teach, there's no time for playing around. Tell us how... Ah, I get it. He only pretended to attack you, didn't he? So you were just playing a part in this grand performance. But was that really the smartest decision here? The Chalice and the Ashen Wolves are gone. I am loath to think what will become of them without our help. And how do you propose we pursue them? We haven't a clue where they went. Well, we know what they're after. That at least narrows down the possibilities. <sighs> Professor... Are we too late? Lady Rhea, why have you come? After sending all of you off, I began to investigate the lineage of the Ashen Wolves. In doing so, I was able to confirm that the documented information about their crests was falsified. What was once a wild speculation, I now know to be true. The crests they bear are the same as those of the Four Apostles. The very same who long ago enacted the Rite of Rising. Once the blood of the Four is poured upon the Chalice, its power can be harnessed. I believe we have enough evidence to assume that our Ashen Wolves will suffice to carry out this ritual. So, Ulfric's aim must be to carry out the Rite of Rising at the expense of the students. Lady Rhea, what precisely is the purpose of this ritual? We've heard it has the power to resurrect life. But that can't be true, can it? The chalice is a holy artifact, created by the goddess herself. It serves to restore a physical form that was previously lost to this world. So those wild tales are true. It really can bring someone back to life. Not exactly. It can breathe life into a body, but it cannot return a spirit that has already departed. Ultimately, it is a tool to return the goddess to her physical form. Her spirit is omnipresent, 
but her flesh is no more. Such incredible power is truly awe-inspiring and extremely dangerous. In that way, it is akin to the hero's relics. For this reason, the four apostles were never intended to pass down their crests. This gathering should never have been possible. The Ashen Wolves are now gathered together, making it possible once more. And Elfric is at the center of this mess, luring them all to Abyss for his own selfish reasons. Without so much as a whisper of it to the church, of course. This incident is my own doing. I never should have entrusted the chalice to them. Lady Rhea, do you have any idea where they could have gone? I do, indeed. Garrick Mach, which is protected by the Goddess, is the only place the Rite of Rising can be performed. Holding such a ritual requires absolute focus, so I imagine the setting would need to be serene, peaceful. There are countless such places within the monastery walls. It's certainly peaceful there, but due to last month's incident, it's heavily guarded at present. For now, let us return to the monastery. There is much to consider. <sighs> Lady Rhea! You look troubled, Alois. What has happened? Thieves have breached Karagmach's village walls. They've been pillaging the shops and residences, taking whatever they please. I wonder if this has anything to do with Elfric. There's no telling, but for now, their numbers are too great. They need the knights. By your will, Lady Rhea, allow us to clear the village of these hooligans. Yes, Alois. Please ensure the safety of the villagers immediately. However, leave a few of your best knights here with me. Yes, Your Grace. I'll see to it. Teach? You look like you've got something to say. They told you to meet up with them at the Holy Mausoleum? You never run out of secrets, do you, Teach? I'm certain that Yuri had his reasons for setting up this meeting. He took the time to speak with you, however cryptically, before he left. Fair point, Dimitri. I do wonder why he told you it needed to be after midnight. Wouldn't it be better to rush to their aid immediately? Yuri's no fool. There's a method to his madness. 